Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Ensure a smooth hosting experience on Nameship in 2023 by connecting your GoDaddy domain. This detailed tutorial will lead you through the process of connecting GoDaddy domain to a Nameship hosting, allowing you to use your GoDaddy domain with your Nameship hosting seamlessly. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, obviously the first thing which is heading up to godaddy.com. This is the first thing so we can get our account ready and go domain ready. So here, go to find your perfect domain and simply type the name of the domain that you are looking for. As an example, for me, Titan LCD. Then they will give you a list of all the options that you can go through from the options. For example, the options are .com, .net, .co, .store, online, and etc. So there will be a lot of stuff that you can choose from. So here, uh, you just have to give it some time. It will load you all the options. Sometimes it can take a lot of time, sometimes it will take a lot of time. So it depends on your service in general. And then once you feel like you have chosen and found your best domain, you can simply just buy it. But let me tell you why going to, through GoDaddy at the same the first time. So let me just go first and get a domain. And as you can see, this is the page of the options. So here there are so many options that club, towers, shop, online, net, set. Like there is so many options that I never thought they exist. For example, LLC, what is it? I mean, I've seen solutions, I've seen group, I've seen .tech, but CLC, I've never seen it. Um, biz, I don't know. Uh, services, maybe. Um, Title is the, the website. Uh, so there's a lot of options that you can go through. And here, they will show you like the big deals in the top of the page. As an example, there is titanacd.to, which will cost you around 0 0.01 for the first year. But here is the sketch. It will cost you for the first year that amount of money but it comes with a two-year term so the second year will be charged for $40 that where people are losing their money a lot because they only see this 0 0.01 for the first year and they go for it uh, guys it is a two years plan so you will be charged later on for $40 in the next year to put that in mind now let's say for example I like this one which is titanacd.online so please just click on add to cart and then click on continue. So here, simply, you will have to choose some option that comes with the domain from the protection and the email. For me, I want no protection and I don't want to start a website for free since I will have already a website on my hosting in Nameship and then I will not need any email. Click on continue to cart. And here we have to put some kind of focus on this page. Since here you are going to see the amount of money that you'll be charged. As you can see, <laughs> yeah, if you've seen at the beginning, it wasn't even a hundred, it wasn't even a dollar, it was 0 0.99. And here we are facing a lot of money. So how did we come up here? It's very easy, guys. It, they are doing it a lot, but just try to go back to one year. If you fix it to one year, it will go back to the normal state. So as you can see here, it is back, so just choose whether you want to pay with PayPal or I'm ready to pay and choose your credit card and bill information as you can see here. Just make, the, make sure to put them and you will be ready to go. Then click on here to complete the purchase and they will send you an email in your email inbox. Let me show you an example on how it's going to be. Here it is and here it is the receipt. You will have the name of the store, the quantity, the term and the price. Here is the subtotal and here it is the total. So 1.17 as I have showed you. Now how can we connect it to our Nameship domain or hosting? Well here you have it already. Link your domain to an existing site. This in case you had a site of course. But since now, I hope I don't think you do, you do own a site. You just own the hosting without a website. So basically what you have to do is by clicking uh, on connect my site then go to the dashboard of your website and then here you will find this connect your domain well this is in case you had a website this is in case you had a website you have to do that since they will allow you to connect to some already existing websites in the net as an example there is wix wordpress squarespace wooden wire webly tumblr medium event drive and there is also social, social sites online stores and media sites but 
we didn't find Namecheap here. So what is the deal? How can we connect it? Simply by going to DNS or by going here back to GoDaddy, by going to the main dashboard, and here click on the domain, here in the left side menu, click on domain, and here click on manage DNS. And just like that, you will find the DNS records. Here they are. So simply click on name servers, and here you will find those two name servers. Simply all you have to do is change name servers, go to your hosting on Namecheap. So simply just go to your hosting on Namecheap, and normally you will find the name servers provided by Namecheap in your hosting. So simply here, for example, we go hosting. So the hosting in Namecheap are pretty much uh, cheap. Uh, this starts from two dollars to five dollars to zero. So there is so many starts up uh, the hosting that you can go for, and simply this is like a WordPress hosting. This is shared hosting. This is shared hosting. So you can go for whatever you want, but in general it's very easy. You just go to your hosting, log into your, of course to your Namecheap account, go to your hosting, and get the DNS records. Simply you will have to ch change these two that you already have in your uh, GoDaddy domain DNS records and like that, save it with few minutes and when you type Titan LCD for example as my domain name I will be redirected to the Namecheap hosting which is going to be a blank page since we don't have any data or data in that page in case you had some data it will show you that data of course and that's it. So it was very easy, guys, to connect both uh, Namecheap to your GoDaddy account. It doesn't take any time. Uh, it's very easy. It's very. It doesn't even take time. Now sometimes you will have some problems. Uh, uh, you will not really find the name servers. So what can you do? Same thing. Just go into your dashboard, domain, etc. Link. The same process basically, and you go to manage DNS. But this time you'll go to manage records, not DNS records, not name servers. So here you'll find these DNS records. Simply you will find the DNS records also in your hosting on Namecheap. Click on add new, give it an option. There will be probably like two C names and for AAA. For, uh, so for A means like an IP address, and the C name is going to be like uh, something like connect to namecheap.com, connect one namecheap.com, and add a name of your. Uh, just a name, random name, it can be whatever, for example, like that, or uh, Namecheap, you can just name it Namecheap, and click and add it as a record, make sure that you added all the records, and then you have to wait some time, uh, don't change the TTL, uh, it doesn't really matter, just leave it as it is, so it doesn't really waste any of your time, and just like that, you will be able to connect it also to Namecheap without any problems. So it, there is multiple ways to actually connect GoDaddy to your Namecheap hosting. And there guys, that was it for today's video. Thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.